Now, Cardinal Roche continues in his interview, he said that he believes much of the traditional Catholic resistance to France is very bad, bad, bad stuff. Much of that resistance is rooted in opposition to the reforms of the Second Vatican Council, don't you see? Or maybe it's just that we don't like tangos at mass. I'm not sure, uh, Eminence, what you're referring to. But I will say this, uh, Cardinal Roche, at least we know what Vatican II was. I mean, I, 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 you do realize that most Catholics today have never even heard of it. Couldn't possibly care any less about Vatican II. I mean, you realize that, right? Like your traditional Catholics, you're always ripping on. We're the only ones that even know what it is. Most Catholics think Vatican II is probably like the Pope's summer residence. You know, Vatican II, right? <laughs> but here, I'll play along with, with you, Cardinal Roche. Which council exactly? Are we evil, backwardist, traditionalists rejecting, in your opinion? Which, which council is it? The one that, that hasn't been realized yet? You know, that you all are unpacking the bags for Vatican II, still you're going to get to, they're going to all unpacked maybe in a couple more decades or whatever it is you're doing. That, con that, that Vatican II? Are we rejecting that one? Or are we rejecting the Vatican II that Pope Benedict XVI was talking about when he said this council of the media was responsible for trivializing the liturgy and pretty much wrecking the whole church. Or is, is that the council that we are rejecting? You remember when Benedict said this. This council created many calamities, so many problems, so much misery in reality. Seminaries closed, convents closed, the liturgy was banalized and the true council has struggled to materialize, to be realized. The virtual council was stronger than the real council. You know, it's our job to pay attention to all this stuff. I can only imagine what most guys in the pews are, are, are doing right now with all this. What, 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 what now? There's, there's a real council that failed to materialize, according to the Pope, the last Pope who's running around in white still, by the way, I'm not sure why. And then there's a council of the media that did really damaging thing, but the council of the media, that's the only council that anybody really, really understands because that's the one that, that everybody in the whole world got. And that one destroyed the mass, trivialized the liturgy, shut down the seminaries. And, the con and then there's the spirit of the Vatican council, which nobody knows what that is. Is that like an actual demonic entity? Is it a good thing? Is it nobody knows. Now, is it okay for us then, for traditional Catholics, to reject that horrible, disastrous dumpster fire council that Pope Benedict was targeting? This council created many calamities, so many problems, so much misery in reality. Seminaries closed, convents closed, the liturgy was banalized. Vatican II, the Woodstock of these guys. Joe Cocker is up there. Oh, man, everybody was there. It was awesome. But we don't care. Even somebody as old as me. When Vatican II ended, I wasn't even born yet. It's ancient history. There is nothing in Vatican II that's doctrinally binding for anybody. And whatever is doctrinally binding, because it reiterates already established teachings of the church, we all accept. In fact, we accept more of the doctrinally binding parts that happen to find their way into that council than Jimmy Martin does, and most of the goofballs that Francis just made cardinal. Vatican II, Cardinal Roche? Really? You're still going on about this? Who cares about Vatican II? Why don't you tell us which doctrines of the church we're rejecting in the council. Friends, you can use this with your priests, with your bishops, with your friends, your neo-Catholic. It, they absolutely have no answer. You say to them, which dogmas of the Catholic Church are we rejecting in Vatican II? Please, we're waiting, we're listening, we're discerning, we're being synodality people. They have no answer. We're not rejecting any dogmas in Vatican II. It's the crazy Woodstock spirit of Vatican II that wrecked the mass, as Benedict XVI admitted, that we reject. Seminaries closed, convents closed, the liturgy was banalized. Is it okay if we say that? Your new eminence, your holiness? Are you going to excommunicate us now for saying that? <laughs> what are you going to excommunicate us from, exactly? Uh, your ring of pedophiles that everybody hears about, is that it? 
your Vatican orgies. move on, Ed, a criminal prosecutor in Argentina has requested the arrest of Bishop Gustavo Zancheta. Now, you'll remember, he was accused of sexually abusing two seminarians. Zancheta was suspended from his position at the Vatican Bank, where he was appointed an assessor by Pope Francis in 2017. Now, Zancheta is currently living at the Casa Santa Marta, the, where the whole, Holy Father resides. A predator who's now been thrown in prison enjoying cover, hiding from the law with the help of the Pope. And they're accusing us of being divisive. I mean, no wonder 70 million Catholics or there about in America today have simply left the Catholic Church in disgust. As these are the guys running the show when they're not in prison. Out of 88 million Catholics in the United States of America today, roughly 17 million will admit that they bother to attend Sunday Mass. That's an obligatory Mass, used to be. When I was in Catholic school, we were taught it was a mortal sin to skip Mass, right? The vast majority of Catholics today have totally rejected the new Mass. In other words, Cardinal Roche. Pope Francis, are you aware of this? The vast majority of Catholics have rejected that mass and they surely don't give one flying fig about Vatican II. And why is that? It's because the most divisive force in the Catholic Church today, the most divisive force, are the guys running the Vatican right now with their endless scandals, they're trivialized.